Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I wish I had a longer cord for this, but what I'm going to do, I got another um, tutorial on the ESP32. Now, it, this is the real ESP32 mining on publicpool.io, um, and it's mining at about uh, 53 kilohashes a second. Now, when you have one of these, even when you have the OLED on top, um, those are the bigger ones, you know, with the uh, touch-sensitive screen and all that stuff. You really can't tell if that thing is submitting shares or if it's getting shares. If it's getting, actually, you can't even see if it's getting any work. But what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually confirm that your um, solo miner is getting work from the pool and trying to submit the shares now this is where the luck comes in granted yes the pool is going to to give you shares to work on if your miner can actually perform that work is really it's 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 luck it's up to the difficulty of that share that they they gave you and the commuting you know the computing power of the esp32 and if you can actually submit that share see now once you submit that share boom you hit the lottery maybe you'll get a couple of dollars maybe you won't but that's when all the luck comes in to these esp32 miners they just don't have the computing power to make any money it's just just the luck of the draw that the pool will give you a share to work out and your miner actually does it it has it has been done all right i've never um you know myself have never uh, submitted a share with one of my solo miners but other people have you can look out on the internet and you can see success stories on these esp32s that's why so many people do them they have like 20 of these running at the same time and they do submit shares occasionally so what i'm going to show you today is I'm going to take my uh, ESP32 miner. I'm going to um, go in, put my SSID, my password, my my uh, Bitcoin address, and everything. And I'm going to show you how to uh, look at it on publicpool.io, and where publicpool.io gives you nothing. It gives you nothing. It just shows your your miner, tells you how many hashes. Um, per second is putting out and it gives you the difficulty of the pool Gives you nothing else you there's no flow chart. No nothing the way. I'm going to show you I'm going to get you into a terminal and we're going to watch the output of your ESP 32 as it mines on the pool All right, so let's uh, let's get to it and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right Let's go here to my desktop and go here now right now the es my esp32 is not mining this this is this is a shadow of its former self there it is it's now it's gone i i i just wanted to prove this out first before i showed you guys so right now my miner is not showing okay so now how how you see well let's let's uh let's go ahead and get this miner up and running on public pool dot io first so what i have to do is i just powered this up so no that's my <laughs> i picked the wrong thing that's my volume i got i got a cord in the way here get out of the way all right get that out of the way now go right here you click on your nerd miner you say connect all right, it automatically is going to go out there and give you a connection. Um, I, I really, sometimes it works on this, sometimes it doesn't. Let's let's try it. 192.168.4.1. Come on, give me the interface. If not, I'll go to Google. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'll click on configure the Wi-Fi. And it's probably going to fail and it's going to open up another window over here where I got to go. So I got to go here and I got to refresh. These things are so freaking stubborn. Come on, give me that window again. 
I'm sure you you guys have had the same problem with this stupid thing. All right, SSID. We're gonna put in Lucy Lou and Kangaroo. Do do. Sit do do. Okay. Public food I I O. Um, it gives you the port number. I'm going to put in my Bitcoin address in my worker. Come on, populate. Here it is. So here's my Bitcoin address, dot DIY1. And my U2C is minus five. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to check this box right here. I don't know. I really don't know what this checking this box does. It's experimental. I check it anyways, just in case it it gives me some extra information on the terminal. Um, but I check it anyways. Minus five, got that, that, got that. I got my SSID, and I just hit save. Saving credentials. Trying to connect to the ESP network. Let's just give this a couple of seconds. Uh, matter of fact, I'm just going to go over here to pubpool.io, and I'm just going to refresh it. I'm actually going to back out of here. Oops, I just had it. I just had it right there. Here we go. So I'm going to put in my my Bitcoin address right there and say, my workers. Okay, it just found it. It said, just now. So let's watch this thing ramp up for a second. Um, usually it goes about 53 hashes a second. Let's just give it a second. And then I'll show you how to um get into a terminal session with it and you can really see a lot of information that you're missing all right so what you guys got to do is go out there and get putty p-u-t-t-y all right but uh, i'll show you that in a second too let's close out these other windows uh to get putty what you want to do is i'll just do it anyways while i'm waiting for that P-U-T-T-Y, putty download. All right, download putty. And this is what you want right here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a different versions or whatnot for maybe Mac or something like that. I don't know anything about Mac, guys, so I'm not even going to go into it. But download putty right here. And then this is your terminal window here. And I'll go over this. But download putty and get that ready. Let me get out of here. Uh, let me refresh this. See if we can got any hash rate yet. Nope, no hash rate yet. So let's just give it a second. It's telling me here that I'm up to 50 kilohashes, but I got nothing showing. Difficulty is 0.02. That's that's very vague right there. 0.02. What the hell is that? And wait till you see it on the uh, putty terminal. It'll it'll give you the the 12 digit um, difficulty for each one of the sessions. And it'll it'll start you know handing you uh, work, and you'll hand it back. And a lot of times, you won't be able to solve the share. That's where the luck runs in. So let's let this sit for a couple seconds, guys. Come on, man. You You guys know my big coon cat. He just tried to sit in my lap. Darn guy's always lonely. Nobody to play with. His sister plays with him once in a while, but she's kind of rough. All right, guys, let's uh, refresh this again. Come on there, hash rate. Hey, there's our hash rate. Wow, I'm up at 81 kilohashes. So anyways, here we are at 81 kilohashes. Let's get rid of this little pop-up here. We're at 81 kilohashes, and we're on the... We're on the pool. We're mining. So now, let's go to Putty. So what you do, right down here in the corner. See this down here in the corner? Just put in Putty. Uh, P-U-T-T-Y. And here we are with Putty. And now, you got to know what uh, COM port your ESP32 is on. So you go over here to the little Start menu. And you right-click it. Go up to Device Manager. Go to COM ports, double click it, 
and I only have one thing plugged in so I know this is my ESP32 but if you see the Silicon Labs CP210 that's that is your ESP32 or one of them you could have like several of them and they're all using different COM ports but anyways COM3 is what we're looking for so we go up here and we go COM3 and what you want to do oh, I'm sorry you gotta hit serial right here com three so click on serial right here and then change your speed to one one five two zero zero all right and then say open open sesame now I'm gonna open this thing way up here's your nerd miner right here starting it's loading now this goes by pretty fast guys and all right I just want to let it go for a second okay it got a share right there I completed the share it couldn't do it let's see current pool receiving receiving message from a pool it's receiving nothing as you can see right here completed zero shares if you see a completed share, that means that you made some money. But this, at least this right here, this is telling you that you are, oh, we just got some, well, received from the, they just sent you a, a job right here, received message from the pool, okay, it parsed it, minor, uh, work aborted, waiting for a new job, okay, it didn't like that one. But there's a lot of information in here to get guys to decipher and this is all coming from your your uh, ESP32 let's see receiving um, completed zero shares average hash rate of 54 current pool difficulty tells you right there There's my worker right there. Difficulty. Receiving message from pool. Receiving ID. Um, results true. So it got a nice hash. Got another job coming in. Oh, minor work aborted. I wonder why that aborted. Hmm. Waiting for a new job. Here's another, another job just came in. Nope, it couldn't do that job, so it's waiting for another job. This is where the luck comes in. Because if your miner gets a big job like this and it says, Oh, fuck, that's way too hard for me. And it crashes. Receiving. Do -do, completed zero shares. Da -da 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 -da. But anyways, guys. That, in a nutshell is how to to take a closer look at your ESP32 on how it is mining and again as you've seen right there it doesn't complete many shares because that's why they call it a luck miner it's just you're very lucky if that miner is going to um, actually receive a job and complete that job and spit the share back in to the pool um, that's where the luck comes in but at least at this point, you can confirm that your your ESP32 is going out on the pool. It's trying its best, but it just doesn't have enough power to to you know get that share completed. And and again, that is the luck of the draw. It's all called um, the lucky miner, or what do they call it, lottery miner? Okay, because it's it's all luck. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, and whatever else you want to do. Check out my other videos about the the fake uh, 9,000 mega hash ESP32 that I built. That thing mines at 9,000 mega hashes. <laughs> Check it out. And there's some people on there that believe it. They're like, oh my gosh, I want to buy one of those. <laughs> See you guys.